de la, de la comunal. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. What's new? <laughs> hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we're going to start. You know, tonight we have a lot of activities. And I know that you are very responsible and you have prepared something for everybody over here. Well, every time I get into this group, I, I remember about, about some people like, like Roxana. Roxana is like learning all the time about idioms. Jorge is also comparing words all the time and learning the meaning of certain vocabulary. And you know, Joanna is always getting ready, Jacqueline Ligia, and, and Catherine, and Chrissy. Well, this group is quite fantastic. And I know tonight's going to be a great, we're going to have a great time together. Okay. Now, you are going to have the opportunity to, to show everybody uh, the, the knowledge and the learning that you have been um, acquiring in this hour. Okay, so it's a pleasure to see you again. We're gonna be like 60, 60 minutes, but you will notice that the teacher's not gonna talk a lot, but you. Tonight, this hour, this 60 minutes belongs to you most, mostly, okay? So we're gonna start with the activity so that, uh, actually I have only 13 people connected, I don't know. And maybe later we're gonna have the rest of the student here. Because for me, it's important to give the opportunity to every uh, participant to share the Humber assignment. And we're going to start with uh, Roxana Godoy. Hi, teacher. Hi. Welcome. What is the... <laughs> Thank you, teacher. I, I am here uh, in El Salvador. Uh, oh, you're in El Salvador now. Yes, today wow. arrived. Uh, wow. Salvador. Welcome mm -hmm. to El Salvador then, Roxana. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Uh, okay. What is your question? Well, uh, we're going to start talking about the presentations. If you want, if you have something new to share with the group, that would be fantastic. Okay, so you can share them the information. And also, if you have learned uh, special information in English, you can share it just right now, Roxana. 
homework presentation. I my homework. Ah, okay. By mm -hmm. three idioms. Hey, three idioms. Did okay. Three idioms. Okay. Mm, the rule rule of the thumb is la regla de oro. Ah. Another is um break break and leg is buena suerte. Y put eh, si me escape esta. Um, potato kid, coach potato kid is a chico aragán, una persona yeah, aragán. That's a coach potato, right? <laughs> ah, coach, coach yeah, potato. A coach potato. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. Roxana, <laughs> what about presentation, Roxana? Are you ready with your presentation, your activity? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, is, is, teacher, ¿es acerca de lo que aprendimos en este módulo? Exactly. Yes. Uh, okay. Exactly. Uh, but to be, to be honest, in this, in this first model, I learned to use um, um, the adjective possessive how use uh, the verb to be and also how they spell the my name or other names and also uh, how uh, how to say my, the numbers and uh, also the cell phone numbers uh, Teacher, es, perdón, es, es, lo que, es, es lo que uno ha aprendido, ¿verdad? Es lo que tenemos que decir. Ok. Uh, also, I learned um, how you use um, when, uh, when a person use clothes, is this, we say uh, wearing, no use. You know, the, 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 the best form is wearing. Uh, another uh, how this how is uh, uh, how use the interrogative when when the wh in the interrogative you say to be and uh, how you say the uh, uh, our the, the different countries and um, also, uh, uh, how uh, how um, we can uh, question uh, they are from the uh, any the any any country. Um, yes, we see teacher. Okay, so you've learned a lot. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing the information. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so I don't know. Magdalena says that she's a listener tonight. I don't listener know tonight. if I don't know, Magdalena, if you're able to participate now, or you will stay as a listener during the, listener. the whole hour. So we're gonna we're gonna continue then. We're gonna continue then. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Magdalena. Eh, sería la tarea, ¿verdad? Yes. My homework. Yeah. <laughs> A ver, teacher. <laughs> eh, my homework is. I have learned uh, how to introduce um, myself and pronounce the alphabet. Uh, for example, my name is Magdalena, or my spell name is N A G D A L uh, N A. Uh, um, la otra, I also I had learned to say. Uh, number although although I cannot I am missing and before example my phone number is 
uh, 605H4312. I also know a little about possessive pronouns uh, in how, how to use it. Use the this, that, that, or um, those. Uh, uh, for example, uh, he has got a watch, or the what is it? Uh, she has got address, uh, the dress in hers. Uh, this, uh, this girl is beautiful, or that phone is sure, or is, uh, el, these shoes are mine, or those. Uh, those words are my I learning to pronounce so country in the clothes they wear for example in cool weather in Nueva York uh, they use a hat cloth uh, sweater uh, jeans coat, coats boots and the thinner scarf I also learned a little about the orders on the days. Uh, although uh, it's it difficult for me, I know now I had to practice as well as to pronounce pronunciation in understand a word that are bait say to me. Thank you. Thank you, Magdalena. Thank you. Great info. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna work a little bit fast because you know we have like eight, uh, sixteen people who want to participate. Who want to participate, and we're gonna take advantage of the time. Carolina Reynosa. Good evening. Good evening. Um, what did I learn? with this class. First, to be able to introduce myself, to say my name, to ask questions to other people. Second, learn a new word every day. Third, and now I can listen to my favorite music in English and understand some words. I'm still studying the topics with See, because I still have a hard time in understanding adjectives, but the numbers, glories, and time, I understand better how it works. Not perfect, but I feel very happy and proud to have taken advantage, advantage of this time. I also lost the fear of speaking English even even to my pronunciation is very bad. I hope my word is fine. Thank you. Hey, Ka Caroline, I don't think your pronunciation is bad. Okay, I think you are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you, Carolina. You. Thank you, Carolina. Hey, well, Jacqueline Vanessa. Check it in. Now you have your time. Check it in. Well, at the end, I will ask again. Check it in. I don't know if you're facing technical problems, but later on, I will I will ask to, to present the information again. Shoana Stephanie. Hello, Joanna. Hello, teacher. Uh, I learned to introduce it. myself is a conversation. It's been my name, Joanna, J-O-A-H-A-N-N-L. Also, I created a conversation with all the elements I learned in the course. Uh, 
I can read it. That was it, Joanna. Uh, ah, no, you have, then, you have a presentation, right? Uh -huh. Excellent, excellent. Uh, presentation, Sara. Uh, hello, my name is Sara. What is your name? Nice to meet you. My first name is Joanna. Nice to meet you too. What is your last name? My last name is Flores. My name is Sara Flores. What is your name? Last name. My last mas my last name is Araujo. What is your job? I am a business person. I am not a teacher. I am a doctor. I am not a student. What's your phone number? My phone number is five zero three seven zero one four seven eight six five. Where are you from, Joanna? I'm from El Salvador. Are you Salvadoran? Yes, I am Salvadoran. Where are you from? I am from United States. What time is it? It's it's five thirty. It's half past five. Good. It's early. It's not late. What is the weather like in your city? Uh, in my country, there are two seasons of the year. These are winter and summer. How is the weather like in winter? It's a time showery with wind, humid. What clothes do you wear for winter? I wear a hat, gloves, sweater, boots. What are you wearing? I am wearing a sweater, jeans, and boots. Whose socks are these? These socks are my sisters. What are you doing? I'm doing an English assignment. And what are you doing? I'm repairing my cell phone because it's broken down. Oh, I can lend you the cell phone. Thank you. You are welcome. Do you remember my friend Elena? I don't remember it. How would you describe it to me? She is tall girl, dark skin color, curly black hair, and brown eyes. She is sympathetic, pleasant, happy, friendly person. She is 25 years old. She studies psychology. She is, she is a wonderful woman. Sounds like she is a good girl. We can go for a walk with her. Of course, come on. Of course, come on. Hey, um, let me see. Well, great conversation. Uh, I could notice you included a lot of information related to the topics we started during this level. And it is very satisfactory to listen to you uh, including the grammatical structures and phrases and vocabulary we have just learned. Thank you, Joanna. Then we have Jonathan Ulises. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my learning experience has been very good. I think of all the topping thing. I consider I consider that the the most important topic for me have been the following topic topic number one the possessive adjectives in the most simple their their possessive adjective is an adjective that that so possessive this type this tip of adjective all all was used before, used before a nose as a way, a way of showing what, what or who, who all it. The most common is the most common common example of possessive adjective. I are as fully my jewel, his, her, they, it's or and whose. 
let's taking a look and some of this or this be being using a sentence for example the this is my ball number two her house is lighter than the your house will you be going to his birthday part party how you have you see or new website uh, top topic number two the possessive pronouns in the english language possessive pronouns are word that replace rep, replace know the implicit processes of an object the most common example of possessive adjectives are as for my, your, his, her, is, or they. Let's take a look at some of the beginning using in a sentence. For example, the, the, blue, the blue one is her car. The, the, the book the book the book is her uh, he is friend 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 of mine the dog is yours thank you thank you jonathan thank you for sharing those examples thank you for doing your best uh, in your presentation now okay. let's listen to jorge jose hello jorge what's new hello teacher Go ahead. I learned today the different words, uh, some similar. For example, by, by, and by. Uh, the first by, for example, that painting was done by Nelson. The, the meaning is por. En ese caso, quien pintó, esa pintura fue hecha por Nelson. The second by is by to the... The, for example, they both say bye to his friends. This meaning is adios. El chico dijo adios a sus amigos. And the other buy is the verb. Uh, for example, are you going to buy a new car? Uh, the meaning is comprar. Okay, thanks for sharing those three examples, three new words. And examples, Jorge, are you ready with your presentation now? Okay. Okay, go ahead. What are learning in this grade? I am learning how to introduce myself and how to start a conversation with other people. How to use the verb to be, to differentiate between this and that. I am learning about prepositions, words that have accents, types of numbers, adjectives, and possessive pronouns. At the same time, I study in the season according to the weather, the hours of the club, the present continuous, and the questions that carry WH. In this course, I realized that it is a little difficult for me to distinguish words that sound the same. This is part of my interest in looking for words that sound the same but have different meanings. At the same time, it helps me pay attention to the context in which the person used the word and just be able to understand the meaning they want to give me. Thanks. Thank you very much, Jorge. Thank you. Later on, I will provide Thank some you. reactions about, about uh, presentations in general, but that was fantastic. Thank you, Jorge. Karen Lisette. Good evening, Karen. Ahorita. Okay. Ahorita la leo. No aparezco en la cámara porque me cambia la pantalla. Good evening, my name is Karen Linares. Karen is spelled uh, K A R E N. I am 41 years old. It is a pleasure to have received Module 1 with choose a professional teacher in which, in which shows excellent English 
and way of teaching. At this time, night at night, at night, I, I am ready, already wearing pajamas because I'm already late. My daughter, Giselle, is already spilling and she will go to school in the morning. My husband is working. I work. Uh, we work in San Salvador. Um, I am going to leave her in the morning. She's carrying that by, uh, backpack that is one day the desk, on the desk, on the desk. She's happy to go learn. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Great info. I'm sorry, well, I was just drinking some water. But I could notice that you created a great information, great presentation. Now, after Karen, we have oh, Karen, Karen, Catherine, Ileana. Hello, Catherine. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. And learned a lot in this model, mostly to reinforce what I already knew, but it was very helpful because there yeah. were some small details <laughs> that I was missing. I am very grateful for the opportunity and for everything I learned because the pronounce thing was difficult for me. I learned to use the verb to be correctly, and I am very grateful for it. I hope that you teach your love well. How wonderful is certain like us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I do. I do. I mean, <laughs> okay. you, you are excellent. You're excellent people. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great pronunciation, fluency, and everything. Hey, Kathleen, you're, you're improving. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Catherine. After Catherine, we have Chrissy. Hello, Chrissy. Hello. Hello, go ahead. Eh, voy a compartir pantalla. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, English class model, module number one. Uh, permítame. Uy. Y acá. Okay. English class model number one. Uh, what is the most significant that thing I have learning in English class? It's meaning que lo ¿Qué es lo más significativo que he aprendido en la clase de inglés? Ok, let me, uh, let's go, uh, number one, my presentation. My name is Chrissy Jimenez, I am 30 years old, I'm a lawyer. My mother's profession is kindergarten teacher, I have four sisters, their name are, are Kenya, is 28 years old, Emma Maria is... Seven, 17 years old and Angeli is 12 years old. I have two pets, their names are Amado and Mike, they are dogs. I get up at five o'clock to go to work. I wear a suit to go to work. Okay, number two, expression. Uh, for example, where, where are you from? Where are you from? What's your name? How are you today? What's the matter? What, what are you doing? What, what time is it? I'm on, I'm on other. Uh, this is very, very important for use in everyday life. Uh, number three, uh, learn new vocabulary every day. Eso es lo que he aprendido bastante, aprender un vocabulario todos los días. Muchas gracias, Tisha. Uh, number four, Overcome uh, the fear of speaking speak, is English. Uh, no tener miedo a hablar inglés, aunque todavía nos cueste, ¿verdad? <laughs> uh, y pues me quedo con esta frase. Remember discip discip discipline. Sooner or later, will we'll defeat intelligence. Tarde o temprano, la disciplina vencerá la inteligencia. 
Salamat. Wow. Great info. Chrissy, do me the favor to to oh, okay, go to the first slide. Llévenos a las primeras a las primeras eh, diapositivas. Let me see. Vamos, vamos a hacer algo. Let me, that one, that okay. one, please. Now, remember about this. Okay. Remember about okay. it. Remember, oh. Yeah, remember to pronounce plural pluralization, right? This is oh. my mother's profession, my sister's mm -hmm. plural, right? Sisters. And yeah, so make emphasis in the in in the in the last part of the word, right? So that we can notice that you are using either the either. okay no no I mean you are using either possess possessive noun case or pluralization. But listen, okay, that presentation was fantastic. Okay. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chrissy. Now we're going to continue with Ligia. Go ahead, Ligia. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. First, I want to thank you for having shared this model throughout this month because even though we are not in a classroom, but from computer monitor, I know that many of us have created new friendship and learn from each other. And that is due to the great teacher we have had. So thank you, teacher Morales, for motivating us in your learning. How can we not forget our fifth class when we are start on Monday, November? There yet we we learn to say good evening and introduce yourself and um, possessive pronouns and ask the question using possessive pronouns. And um, how can I forget when I learn the alphabet? I remember having memorized Ligia Rivas and surprise my teacher asked me my middle name. I remember I was nervous, but I managed to spell it and I could mention and the topic learn. But I had to say that it has been a great challenge to have to learn to say at the beginning of the each class, the new word of phrase that we learn without Hey, station, I can say that this model has been a challenge for me. Um, I am happy to be able and to say that today ended be saying I, I must each learn something new or new phrase in English. Teacher, thank you for motivating us and thank you for them and they us. Uh, thank you guys, and I hope continue being our partner. Oh, wow, great information, great speech. Wow, you motivated me, you know, it's reciprocal. Thank you, teacher. Because you, you motivated me because you were always like doing your homework, paying attention, participating actively, and you know, that's really amazing from this group. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to continue. Thank you, Ligia. Let's listen to Liliana. Hello, Liliana. Liliana, sorry, Liliana. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Well, in this course, I learned about different topics, present continuous, Ver to be, yes, no question, WH questions, numbers, the alphabet. And I didn't know about, I didn't know the difference between O and zero. O for phone number and zero I use in address and things like that. 
and another, another thing is the falling and rising intonation. I think that it is interesting all the topics, all the topics we study in these weeks. And it's great that I have I have to learn a new word every day. It helps me to expand my vocabulary and challenge myself to learn something new. I feel comfortable in this class group. I like who everybody helps in the group. For example, when we couldn't, couldn't write the correct answer in the platform, but the exercises were bright, brought in the correct way and, and a classmate shared that the platform accepted a different character type. I think this kind of collaboration is amazing. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you mentioned something that's quite important in all the groups, okay? And that is um, friendship. You know, we are in a classroom, but this classroom is not a physical classroom. But that doesn't mean that we cannot become friends, you know, and true friends are there to help each other, like Liliana said, right? So it, it is quite important to support the effort of your classmate. If you know that there is somebody in need and you are able to help him, her, now why not to help him? Okay, so this is going to be very useful, especially when moving to different modules, okay? So if there is, if you notice there is somebody who is not able to, I mean, to accomplish with a task, then you are there in the in the WhatsApp group. You know, WhatsApp groups are there to help each other. Okay, so that's the reason. Okay, thank you very much, Liliana. We're gonna listen to uh, Lindaura. Hello, Lindaura. Good evening. Good evening. Ahorita le voy a presentar un video. All right. Wow, a video. Excellent idea. Okay, Linda, ahora. Good evening. In this initial level, I found a lot of motivation to continue learning English. We learn the alphabet, the numbers, the personal presentation, the positive pronouns, the time, places, wearing clothes, for example, short, shoes, jacket, pants,
es chir tres. Thank you. La viejita que andaba. Thank you very much. That was fantastic, Lindaura. Congratulations. Great idea, like to, to record the video and present it to, to the group. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, after Lindaura, we're going to listen to Mindy. Hello, Mindy. Esmeralda. Hello, Esmeralda, are you there? Or do you have problems with microphone? Well, don't worry, Mindy. If you're not able to, to participate now, later on, uh, well, I will I will ask again in case you want to participate. Some people may face problems sometimes with, with microphone or with internet. Last time I had some problems. That's why I understand uh, when these type of things happen. Let's listen. Uh, Jose Guillermo, I think, I don't know if you are able to participate or you will stay as a listener the whole hour. Same to Lenny, because I can see that Lenny is a listener tonight. Roxana, you already participated, right? And Sara Abigail. Hello, Sara. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Okay, lo logran ver? Yes, we can see it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The the day we went with my family to put it. The day started for us 7 a.m. in the morning. We had breakfast at 9 o'clock a.m. We were wearing comfortable clothes, which were pants, t-shirts, sneakers, and cats. Also, we carried water. The day was sunny, but it was windy. We arrived at 12 p.m. at noon. We were hungry, so we we went to a, the local restaurant. This restaurant is very cheap. Pureza was founded in 2012 and 2016. Their counter numbers are 2347-9300. Pureza house more than 100, 100 specimens of 31 in the gentleman species, felines, leopards, African lions, Bengal tigers, jaguars, hippos, pumas, fox, monkeys, among others. Also, you can do a canopy. Looking at those beautiful animals is incredible. Because of walking a lot of our feet hard, we were to a break. We also took photo with the giant turtles. After finishes the tour, we sat down to eat frappe and ice cream. Also, we buy souvenirs and flowers. We went out the fresa at seven, 5 o'clock p.m. That's it.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, listen, we still have like 10 minutes. And, you know, we're going to try to do something with the with one of the activities in the platform, okay? And later on, at the end, I'll share what I think about, about your presentations. Now, yesterday we were talking about present continuous double H questions. And but I didn't I didn't share this video. That's why I I consider it's important. You you will see that we have like some expressions, and then you are gonna listen to the guy like creating sentences in present continuous. And well, listen, and then I will ask something about it, okay? He's shopping. She's reading. Hi everyone, in this class you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements. Okay, I will pause it because of the time. And, well, as you, as you notice, there are some people like performing some activity. So what is it doing, people? He's playing, He's playing, playing tennis. He's playing, He's playing tennis. tennis. What's he doing? She's, She's riding a bike. She's riding a bike. She's riding a bike. What's he doing? Riding a bike. He's running. She's running. She's running. What is this person doing? He's, He's swimming. swimming. He's what about swimming. this lady? He's talking. He's talking. He's walking. Taking a walk. She's taking a walk. Taking, 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 taking a walk. walk. No, don't say walk. No, no, no. Say walk. Say walk. 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 Ta taking walk. a walk. Taking a walk. walk. Taking a walk. Taking a walk. They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. She's driving. She's driving. She's driving. People in this they. picture. They are going. They, they are going to the movies. Going, going. Shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. Shopping. He's He's ready. He's ready. He's studying. He's studying. He's watching television. He's watching TV. TV. All right. So we're gonna. Les voy a dejar una tarea, no es posible que cerremos el, el, el nivel sin dejarles tarea. Todos los días les he dejado tarea. Así que ahora también les voy a dejar tarea. Eh, por cuestiones de tiempo, porque este, lo iba a desarrollar acá en la clase, pero sus presentaciones fueron muy, muy buenas y ustedes se extendieron un poquito también, ¿verdad? Y eso es muy bueno, porque acá lo que importa es cuánto ustedes pueden producir inglés. Now, fíjense bien, la tarea va a ser, porque van a mandar un audio. Ok, necesito que elijan una, una, una imagen. Ok, y además de decirme qué es lo que la persona está haciendo. La, like, hey, he is playing tennis. Ok. Van a imaginar que esta persona, bueno, le van a colocar un nombre, le van a colocar la edad, lo que está haciendo, y me, me van a decir por qué a esta persona le gusta tanto jugar al tenis. ¿Ok? En este, si eligen esta, esta imagen. Ustedes van a elegir una de, de la que ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? Cualquiera es permitido. Ok, ¿por qué lo voy a dejar de tarea? Bueno, porque prácticamente estamos cerrando. 
el nivel y quiero hacer algunas observaciones y comentar un poco acerca del desempeño que han tenido durante el, el, el nivel. Realmente es muy gratificante todo lo que ustedes ver, todo lo que ustedes han logrado. Si ustedes hacen una autoevaluación, yo siempre les he dicho, autoevalúense a diario. ¿Ok? ¿Cuánto se llevan de cada sesión? ¿Ok? No, ¿cuánto habló el teacher o, o pues cuánto participé? No, es importante que evalúen sus avances. ¿Verdad? Porque mientras más ustedes aprendan es mejor. Eh, si son capaces de crear algo, mucho que mejor. Yo por acá observo algunos que se están haciendo expertos. Algo, por, lo, por lo menos eh, en, en, hay algunos que, que se enfocan en ciertas, en ciertas okay. áreas y eso está bien. Eh, algunos quieren aprender idioms, otros quieren aprender... Eh, eh, ¿Por qué esta palabra se escribe igual y se pronuncia igual? Aquí significa una cosa, pero aquí significa otra. O sea, eso está súper, está súper bien. La verdad que los felicito. Hay otros que se dedican a, a, a pronunciación y la verdad que entre todos eh, hemos estado aprendiendo uno de, unos de los otros. Entonces... Eh, han comenzado con pie derecho y espero que en los próximos niveles eh, sigan igual o mejor. Por ahí mencionaban algunos participantes en la clase que, que tuve antes de eso. Decían, teacher, este, me siento satisfecho con el, con el grupo y espero que eh, a, a pesar de que no estamos en un aula física, podamos eh, enlazar o, o crear vínculos de amistad. Y yo le decía a esa persona que, que efectivamente eso es algo que ayuda. Cuando yo los veo acá en el grupo, los veo muy tranquilos. Nadie, nadie se ve nervioso o ansioso de que ya me va a preguntar el dicho o, o ya me va a escuchar fulano o me engano y, este, y me da pena. Veo que eso no sucede en el grupo y eso es muy bueno. Eso es muy bueno también he notado que en el grupo de WhatsApp están prestos a ayudarse unos con otros. Y todos esos pequeños detalles que no son propiamente de la clase ayudan. ¿Ok? Entonces, um, la verdad es que si ustedes se ponen una nota, bueno, de hecho, cada quien póngase una nota, ¿verdad? Pero guárdenselo eh, en, en su mente, en su corazón. ¿Cuánto avancé? ¿Cuánto aprendí? ¿Fue significativo este, este mes o pues no mucho? ¿Y qué puedo hacer para mejorar? Okay. Todo eso es importante. Uh, creo que vamos a ir cerrando con el nivel. Ha sido un placer atenderles. Y no sé si lo voy a encontrar más adelante, pero si los encuentro en niveles uh, como intermedio avanzado, pues me va a dar mucho gusto volverlos a ver. Y pues eh, poderle servir nuevamente. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, nice meeting you. Okay. Ah, no sé si todavía hay alguien que está pendiente con actividades de plataforma. Si eso es así, por favor, terminenlo esta misma noche. Okay, para que quede registrado todos sus avances y este, se vea reflejado en, 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 en el diploma que van a obtener. Okay. Así, que, así que los felicito y espero verlos más adelante. Muchas gracias, teacher. Se le agradece gracias. muchísimo. Toda la ayuda, la, como le dije la vez pasada, también su paciencia, ¿verdad? En, pues, en ayudarnos. En este primer módulo. Muchas gracias. Muchas Personalmente gracias. yo le agradezco mucho. Ok, thank you. Y no, y saben que cuando yo entro a la sesión, quizás el que entra un poquito más emocionado soy yo, porque yo digo, bueno, y Jonathan, ¿qué nos va a traer hoy a la clase? Y Roxana, 
cuál elegiríamos, nos va a presentar y Cris y empiezo a pensar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Por eso la pregunta en cada clase, hey, what's new in English? ¿Qué, qué hay de nuevo en inglés? ¿Qué nos cuenta? Entonces, por ahí los eh, disfruto tanto escucharlos porque cuando ustedes demuestran que han aprendido algo, lo internalizan y ya no se les olvida, que es lo más importante. Cada cosita, cada detalle, cada palabra, cada expresión, cuenta, pronunciación, etc. Y este, así es como se avanza en inglés. Y no descuidándolo ni un tan solo día. Algunas veces se hacen algunas pausas mientras se aperturan los grupos. Entonces, en esas pausas, ustedes eh, les recomiendo que no se queden sin aprender, sino que siempre lo hagan. Bueno, ¿y qué voy a aprender hoy? No, o sea, todavía no han aperturado el grupo, pero ¿qué voy a aprender ahora en inglés? ¿Verdad? Para cuando eh, aperturen el grupo o, o este, ya se inicien clases del siguiente nivel, usted va y lleva algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Entonces, esas son claves también para ir avanzando de, eh, de una mejor manera. Así que ha sido un placer. Espero verlos pronto. Eh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Time. Gracias. Okay. Bye bye. God bless you. Good night, people. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Carolina. Okay, Carolina. Yo. Ah, oh. No, no soy yo. Sara, Sara. Okay, Sara, go ahead. Este, la, el audio que usted dijo que mandáramos lo vamos a mandar al grupo o a su chat personal. Al grupo mándelo, que quede registrado y lo que han hecho. <risa> Ay, okay. ok. Ok, good okay. night, people. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care, teacher. Thank you very much. See you later. Hopefully I will see you later.